and welcome to beta day three today is saturday and it is right at noon um i have already done so much this morning which i will talk about in just a couple of minutes but first i just filming just finished filming a podcast that will go live um on tuesday so i am gonna show you kind of behind the scenes of how i you know, set up for a podcast and things like that. Um, and then, you know, in more reality, the aftermath of filming a podcast. Um, and then I'm going to clean all that up. And yeah, we will move forward from there. Okay, so this is my fancy little corner where I film most of my videos. Um, I sit on this bench. So from my point of view, I'm sitting on right here. And so this is what I see. I have my tripod, um, my computer that has the show notes on it. Of course, those lovely bins that won't be there much longer. Thank goodness. Um, but anyway, and then I have all the projects that I just finished talking about piled up next to me. So that is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to clean all of this up. which is great. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and get a good start on editing. So the first step is to upload the videos to my, or the podcast to my um, computer and then start editing from there. I like to do the majority of my media prep and YouTube content on the weekend because that is when um, you know, that's just the time that I try to dedicate to business stuff as much as possible. Um, there's, you know, hours every day that I spend working on this content. But um, throughout the week, my focus, or the weekdays, my focus is more on school and less on business. Then on the weekends, it's more on business and less on school. So it kind of varies from day to day. Um, and my schedule is pretty crazy a lot of the times. But you'll be able to see this throughout these videos. Um, so, with that being said, tomorrow is Easter. And so I'm not going to have enough time to actually film a full podcast tomorrow. Which is why I did it today. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and edit it and all of that jazz today as well. I'll also prep a super fun thing that I'm posting on Instagram tomorrow. Um, today, this afternoon. And then all of this... It's going to happen before I have a babysitting gig this afternoon into the evening. It's a really long one. Um, so, that is my plan right now. I'm going to get some editing started. Um, upload videos, which is going to take a little bit. I'll probably also knit some during it. We'll see. Just in between, you know, edits here and there. We'll see what happens. And then lunch will also happen too, which I'm excited about. So, I will check in with y'all a bit later this afternoon. Okay, so we have had lunch, which is great. The podcast is edited and is now exporting. It is about 1.30, a little after 1.30. Um, and again, the podcast is exporting, which is so great. It's going to take um, quite a while for it to export. This says an hour and six minutes. And it's usually pretty accurate. Um, and the other night it took an hour for an eight minute video to export so i'm not sure what was going on with that video that day but um this shouldn't take much more than an hour it's about half an hour long the video is so it shouldn't take that long um but anyway i am going to fix some coffee and take a little bit of a break <laughs> kind of been going non-stop today um but that's fine i've gotten a lot of stuff done so i'm really happy about that but I'm going to take a little bit of a break, get some coffee, do some knitting while this exports. Um, and then I still have to 
prepare some patterns to release um just in terms of like the Revelry and Etsy listing drafts and things like that um I gotta do that this afternoon and I need to um finish the show notes but I won't do that until the podcast is exported so that might be as late as like tomorrow it doesn't have to be completely done today um I basically I'm just not gonna be able to film tomorrow so I'm trying to condense it as much as I can um though I will still have one of these videos going up it's just different than having you know sitting down for and half an hour or longer and talking non-stop um so let's go get some coffee and then knit for a little bit <laughs> So I've been knitting for a little bit and I am actually almost to the first color change in this cardigan that I'm working on. So I thought I would share it with you guys for a minute. So this is the Sand and Ocean Cardigan by um, Julie of Twin Stitches Designs. It is an amazing beginner friendly raglan cardigan. I love it so much. I tested this pattern for her um, a while back when she first released it last year and now... I am working on another version. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be striped. I have talked about it in my most recent podcast episodes. Um, but I am just to... I have one more row. And then I will do my um, first color change. So I've started with this gray. It's all Nitpicks City Tweed. I will link it down below. Um, but I've started with the gray. And then I'm going to go into... Well, if I can find... There it is on the chair so after this gray i'm gonna go into this um bright green color and i'm doing 30 rows per color and each for my gauge 30 rows is um let's see under just under six inches it might wind up being like six inches once it's blocked this is not a very accurate way to measure, guys, just <laughs> so you're aware. It's like, I mean, I don't know. Is it five and a half inches, I think is what I should call it. I imagine once it's done, it'll stretch just a little bit, and it might become six inches, because it's kind of like closer to five and three quarters, but I'm going to call it five and a half. Um, and then I am using one, two, three... This is my going to be my fade. So that's three colors. And then there's so much yarn in this one little bag. Okay, here's all the yarn. So start with the gray, then go into this light green, then to this darker green, 
and then like a glass green color this green this blue and then the gray i think that's what i'm gonna do i might actually end with the blue i'm not entirely sure yet but we'll go with this i have one two three four five six seven Ooh, just some one two three four five six seven yes seven colors um so it's gonna be 35 about 40 inches long yeah i think just over 40 inches long um which is gonna be perfect i love long cardigans and this one is gonna be long and i'm really excited about that um i do have to decide if i'm going to do long sleeves or not um she calls for three quarter length sleeves which would be super easy of course um but i'm i don't know i'm trying to decide which one will be more wearable i mean if i wear it in the winter i'm gonna want long sleeves but if i wear it like now i would probably want three quarter length sleeves so i don't know i will cross that bridge when i come to it but regardless i am super excited about this project i'm having so much fun with it um and yeah it's awesome so that is the project that i've been working on so far today um i will probably put it aside for the rest of the day unless i do that one extra row um and then do the color change because it would be nice to kind of get to that stuff in place today um tomorrow is scrappy sunday so that's gonna be really fun i have not done any scrappy projects in so long just because my days have been so busy with designs and things like that but um right now i'm kind of at a just a middle ground with designs i have three that i'm getting ready to release um and then i'm still working on my, that april blanket that i'll release soon at the end of april um and then i am going to be starting a new knit blanket pattern design so i'll kind of show you all behind the scenes of that and but that'll be like a few days from now i think i think i'll start swatching and planning that design out this week early this week um i'm hoping to kind of have it completely started whereas i can like like the pattern is done and i can just work on the um sample this wednesday is my goal for that um so yeah i'm having a lot of fun with projects for the rest of today i'm going to be working on my second bluegrass sock because that is something that i need to get done as soon as possible um i'm using the socks that i made for blake which was the original design i'm using those for like the you know pattern pictures and release day and all of that jazz um no pun intended <laughs> um but i still want to get that sample done as soon as possible because i love them so much and i want to wear them so that's my plan for that I'm going to spend today knitting on those socks. Um, I have a few media things that I need to get done before I head off to babysit. Um, so yeah, that is going to be the rest of my day. I hope you have enjoyed um, Theta Day 3. I'm still having fun with this series and I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. As always, let me know in the comments if there's anything specific you'd like to see me talk about or just show you some behind the scenes tips on um or anything like that i'm pretty much happy to show anything so let me know i am excited for this upcoming week that's a strong term i'm excited to kind of show y'all <laughs> this upcoming week i'm not super stoked about getting back into the school grind and all of that but it's gonna be interesting to show you all that i'm gonna have to really learn how to kind of vlog throughout the day even when my mind is going a million directions like it normally is but i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all tomorrow bye